Welcome back to Fox 51 today. This morning we're going to start talking about some of the advancements in treating lung cancer. Dr. David Bricky with the Treating Mother Francis is here to tell us more about this. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Okay, today we're going to talk about the Great American Smokeout. Can you kind of tell us exactly what that is? Well, Great American Smokeout started as a community effort back in the early 70s. It wasn't until about 76 and then 77 when the American Cancer Society took it nationwide. And it started out as kind of a grassroots, if you use a common phrase, where we said, can you stop for one day and can we pick a day to do that? And by doing one day, can you get the second and additional days? So today, no smoking at all? Today's the day. It's the third Thursday of uh, November each year, and each year we try to come forward and say, how can we start and make our day better by stopping smoking today? I guess that would help for those that, that obviously want to stop, but what about those that breathe in that secondhand smoke? I guess are they prone to probably, I would guess, lung cancer well, as well. You, well, you sure are. Your rates increase, but again, how do you get secondhand? You're back to the smoker, so we got to right. start with the issue. You can try avoidance. We see that with restaurants. You know, we, so many times you can't go out and smoke now, and even the public, the debate on public smoking. But once again, if we can come back and look at the personal benefits, mm -hmm. and then the secondary benefits will follow. Well, let's talk about tobacco. Obviously, very, very dangerous. What are some of the terrible things that it can do to your health? Well, definitely as a lung doctor, I'm going to focus and think about the lung issues. Mm -hmm. but there's also other issues. If we look at not only pulmonary issues, lung issues, the personal, you mentioned secondhand, such as families with asthma. We also look at the cardiovascular risk, which are just as prominent. Also look things such as macular degeneration, one of the more common forms of blindness in the elderly. It's associated. But not only lung cancer, but um, a mouth and throat cancer, esophageal cancer, kidney cancer, urologic cancers, cervical cancers, things we wouldn't think of, and even one type of leukemia called AML is associated with, uh, with smoking. Mm. Wow. Uh, I've heard that some say that they think, oh, there are more chemicals in it today. I would think that at some level smoke is smoke. And they say, oh, in the old days there weren't so much chemicals in it. Is there any validity to that? Well, I think if we could go back and back whenever that was and say yeah. we want to smoke a pure substance and yeah. we think why do we smoke, yeah. it, comes, it comes to that nicotine. And how uh, would we do that is we would keep a pure nicotine form. Obviously ongoing debate on e-cigarettes or vapor mm -hmm. cigarettes now. But once again, if we can give you more of a pure nicotine, which is supposedly the good uh, effect or the the good feeling coming from smoking, that's what we want to stay with. But no doubt, right. the tar, the other things we hear, no doubt, and that's where those carcinogens have been proven, and, and you know, not only lab, but also humans, that that's what you want to stay with. That's why, once again, getting back to that stop smoking. Mm -hmm. Now, quitting smoking, obviously very, very difficult. What would you recommend for people out there? If they want to stop, what should they do? Up front, you got to say, I need to stop. You got to have a commitment, because without that personal commitment and that family and friend and that social support, you're probably going to fail. And this is why you want to take this on as a personal goal with good support. And what that means is you need to pick a day. And typically not, I'm going to pick on uh, January 2nd, I'm going to stop. Mm -hmm. You want to say in the next month. By picking that day about a month out, it gives you time to get that need in there. You also look, you have to look at the benefit. We talked about medical benefit, but you also have to look sometimes the financial benefit. Oh. If you smoke a pack a day, a pack of cigarettes, we'll say it's $5, that's $2,000 a year for every pack per day. Unfortunately, we have patients who smoke more than that. So if you look at not only the benefit to yourself, the social benefits, but also the financial, it's there. You pick a day and you look for resources. You look for resources such as the American Cancer Society, currently every state, Texas one of them, saying we have resources, we have online, we have phone tree type of things where you're called with encouragement, even applications on your phone. American Cancer Society even has one that's a zombie game you can play on your phone. Ah. So we're trying to bring this down to all the different levels. What you'll find though is with that support, you then say, well, I still can't do it myself, and most people can. And this is where you want to take away that drive that I need that nicotine with nicotine replacement such as gum and patches. Mm -hmm. Sometimes even that nicotine withdrawal where, boy, my, I'm just jittery, I'm nervous, I'm anxious. Right. This is where some more pharmaceutical medicines come in and used in the right combination, just not as a drug, mm -hmm. just not as a replacement, mm -hmm. but with therapy as far as outreach, you'll find that's where the benefit and that's where the significant benefit and significant chance of being successful comes in. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and telling us all about this. We'll have more on our website. Thank you, Dr. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Coming up next,